Hi everyone. Right, I've got this 8x8. It's 2mm chipboard. But I want to make some tiles. So what I'm going to do is, I've just... Kind of like... Let me just see. <laughs> I'm just going to cut this. This is that Madame Perot paper. I think I said it right that time. Save that bit. Um, but this is a great way to use tissue paper. Okie dokie. So I'm going to do that. And then just chop this. Oops, it is it. Not very straight there, mate. Right, so I've got lots of it left. Is you know. But this. Now it's two-sided. I think I'm going to have it that way. Is it two-sided? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I do like that. So I'm going to glue that on. And I'm going to use uh, this one. Which is the... Um, oh, blimey. It's the Decker Patch one. So I need a nice... Soft brush, that'll do. Now, do I need that one or that one? Let me just change my mind a minute. Oh, come on. Do I need that one? Yeah, I think I'll use that one. Quite a flat one. Oops. I hate that. Look. Ugh. So, uh, let's just see if I can get this in shot. And I'm, first of all, I'm just going to put one side of it on first. Move this bits out of the way. So I'm not treating the board at all. And hopefully we can get that on straight away. Like that. I'm not too sure, you know. No, there was two of it. Well, you silly nana. You silly nana, take it off. I thought I couldn't get... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't... I thought it was, and then I thought, what is it? Because I could see the print underneath. So I'm just going to redo that. And pop that on. Like that. I'm not bothered if it's ripples or anything like that I will show you what I'm going to do when I've done it so just do your next bit the thing is with tissue paper don't spend too long on it right just fix that bit on don't worry about any of that it'll all dry out I do it pretty quick, really. When I'm working, I I work pretty quick. Um, but when you're showing somebody else, it's not that easy to do. So, but what I was, like I say, I'm making tiles for a project. So just do that. Take the next bit back. Like that, and then go over the top. Actually, no, I'm not going to go over the top yet. Um, just to hold that down, yes, maybe. But I've got to dry that off, so I'm just going to do something before I do the next bit. Soak my brush a minute. So where's my glue gun? Not my glue gun, my heat gun, Nana. Come on, Fee, wake up. And just dry this off. Look, nice pretty flower. Now, you could, or I could, have painted the background white, then put the paper on. And maybe I should have done, but in this case, I didn't. But I'm not bothered about that. Uh, 
Um, but what I am going to do now is I'm going to take some, uh, like the mustard seed, that colour, and get the right one. I think it's that one. And just colour that a little bit. Just colour it here and there. Whatever I want to colour it. Dark it. When you put the next lot of glue on, it's going to uh, blend in with the glue anyway. But the colour's going to be there. So, just leave that one on there. Let's get a green, I think. This one is the pine needles. There we go. And blend the two in together. Go back and blend that in. So you try to get rid of the lines, blend it in. Darker. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Oh, yeah, that was silly, wasn't it? Oh, well, never mind. Um, let's do that one. Let's go back and blend that in. Okay. Then I need. Oh, I, oh, I don't want to do the fired brick but I might do the orange which is the dusty uh, sorry rusty hinge so I'm going to do that one and find the right one for that I think is that one yeah I go in between the areas you've already done so just dry this off first before you do this you know uh, from gluing it on I mean See, because it's not gone on enough, uh, properly where I've put the glue on, on top of the paper. So you do need to do this first. I can darken that. Don't worry about that. Like that. Let's blend that on there. Just going to go back in with the green. Like that. Now, that'll do me because that one now will go on any project that I choose to put that on. So I'm just going to clear this. That's it. Now I need to go back in with the glue. And just give it a, a light coat. before it starts to blend and run you know well it won't run it'll what I mean is it'll merge into each other the colors it brightens that out it gives it a nice sheen like I say a nice coat of that any PVA glue will do anything that dries clear you could even do glossy accents over it. Anything at all. See, it's brought that off. So the colour should have gone on first. But, you know, I forgot. Never thought about it, to be honest. I did know. And just forgot what I was doing. Ah. So, that's that. Soak that brush. Pop that back. And then we're going to dry this off.
yeah definitely definitely put your paper on and then uh, color it and then you can um, varnish it with the glue I'm not actually bothered about that whatsoever so look about what tissue paper if, if you haven't got any pattern tissue paper make your own um, buy some tissue plain tissue that you wrap your present uh, you know your gifts with and use your stamps and just stamp all over it whatever you want use that now I'm just going to remove that take my ruler and hope I don't ruin this <laughs> um, and I want that bit of script and that bit of script at the top so what I'm going to do is hopefully a line to go on Right, so I've got that. Now I'm not going to do it with the rest of it. I'm just going to show you with this piece. But look, I've got loads that I can now cut up into tiles. You know, if you've got images of um, steampunk and things like that, just use that on on plain paper. Not worried about this um, this bit at all because you just chop that off. Like that. I'm going to take the walnut stain. I don't know what I might do is, um, where's my. I've got a black, uh, something. Oh, there it is. Soot. Black soot. So I'm going to use that. How you see? I think it's this little one. Yep. Yeah. Just take a bit of that. Sorry, I haven't finished cutting this. I'm going to trim that off because I don't want that bit. I'm going to trim that. Right, now this is a piece I want. Just hold your fork a minute. I need to get the stays on. Um, where's the black? Oh, must have got out. Yes, I've got it out on the table. Just going to get a stamp. Let's see which one I want. I'm going to use this one. Just got a nice butterfly that um, I want to put on it because you can do this now with your stays on ink anybody who's not invested in the stays on ink do try um, you can pick up some bargains and then uh, what I'm going to do with mine I'm going to have mine there and it's only like a, I haven't got it too dark so it's not just the script, but I've got a butterfly as well. And if I wanted to, I've got some of the little swirly bit on there. And I can also do that. And there you go. So tart them up yourself. Let that dry a minute. Because they're going, what, Fiona? Tart it up yourself. Yes, tart it up yourself. <laughs> okay. Um. Just dry that off. Now, maybe I don't want mine as square on this as that. So what I'm going to do, just to make it a little bit more interesting, cut my corners like that. Bit more interesting, isn't it? Take my, where did I put that black soot? Put it away, you nana. Take the black soot, go around the edges. Let's just get that off. I'm just filming. What do you want, Ray? Huh, it's gone. <laughs> I think I always do that. 
sorry, I hope you're seeing this. And then just to give that a defining look a bit more. A bit more of an aged look, should I say. Oh, that was the bit I didn't cut off, silly ass. Now, I want mine a little bit darker than that, so I'm going to use the stays on. Oops. Let me just see, it might be better doing it that way. That's it. That's more what I want. Yep. And there you go. You've got a nice um, tile. Now I can do that up a little bit more if I choose to. Um, I'm going to see. Let me just see. So I bought, yeah, here they are. I bought some, um, I like tiny frames. But yeah, I could do that. Let me just find some little pictures. Here's pictures. Um, wait a minute. Must find one that'll go in here. So what I can do if I want to is pop a little picture there. Now, if I can find a picture small enough, yeah, here's one. Okie dokie. Yeah, that'll do. Right, I'm just going to trim that down again. Sure that fits perfect. Yep. Yeah. Oops. Let's do that. Like right, that. Take any excess off. That's glued on nicely. Pop that on there, like that. Take my glossy accents. And pop some in there, and then when that dries, that will just me run it around the edge. Look like it's got a glass front on. Oops, don't go over there. There we go. Carefully wipe that off. Just there, running that into place. And hopefully, you can see. And I've made myself a cute little tile. Um, and not only that, you can do, um, you know, it's a nice background, you can put wording on it, diamante on it somewhere, you know what I mean, it's just, think outside the box, think about materials you've got already, and then just do what you can with them, and I mean, that was just a plain bit of uh, tissue, not a plain bit of tissue, but a bit of tissue, um, and I've turned it into a nice tile, and that can go on a project somewhere. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.